With our X30 monitor, we have a touch screen, we have a primary section of the screen, we also have what's called mini views, and our corresponding icons to those mini views. We also have a section along the bottom of the screen called our heads up dashboard. Right now, in our primary screen, we have our guidance screen. I touch on the Borgo logo at the top. It'll bring our first mini view that we have available there. We can have up to three mini views at one time. The Borgo logo describes software versions. Below that we have the guidance version on the screen. Here it is in the mini view. Here it is in the primary view. Screen viewing our satellites and GPS location. Our memory usage as well as our alarms. Our job statistics, area covered, time seating, efficiencies. Our ASC on off selection if you're using guidance to turn it on and off the X30, you would have this screen up at all times. Our section switch box, this turns individual sections on and off. And finally, our cedar page. This is a mini view of our air seeder and the functions. We can scroll through our various tanks, turning the clutches on from here, setting our rates if we choose. To change the primary view, you can simply either hit the expansion, replaces the one that you had in the screen with the one you're expanding, or we can simply touch in the center and drag it to the right. So effectively we're replacing the primary screen with a mini view. Our heads up dashboard is running on top of any primary view and can be customized. Our sample has tanks 1, 2, and 4 on it. You can simply touch it and customize it. 12 different items, up to 8 on the display popular way to display is to have all of our product tanks on the display at the same time as well as probably your speed. We can change what's in the display on each one. You notice our icons are different, one, two, three, four, and five. By simply just touching this now, now we can change what's in that display. I can put application rate, the RPM of the shaft and possibly the area remaining or tank volume remaining whatever you choose press the arrow or the check mark and then the green check mark and you customize that dashboard for your primary view another nice feature with the Borgo X30 with the new software version is the global home screens. We simply touch the screen just above the top one logo. It brings up a list of global home screens. So 
Just by simply touching the screen, I've changed the view. And you can set up these views quite simply just by if I wish to set up a calibration screen, I touch and hold that screen for a few seconds. Then it says manage home screens. I can create a new one. I'll call this sample calibration. Now I can cycle between my various screens with a simple touch. Very nice feature. Also on our X30 down at the bottom on the lower right hand corner is our master clutch status. Green is when it's on white is a ready state and red indicates that there's something not set up properly. When it's red you simply engage your master clutch by either touching the virtual screen if it's set up so or the remote master switch or the implement switch and it tells us what we do not have set up to go and then you correct that state. For our simulation, we are not hooked up to our tank, so we have uh, ECU warnings. We don't have any fan speed coming into the screen, so it tells us what's not correctly set up. Correct these situations, so these are all green, and that will correct that. I've set up our system with a simulation so that it satisfies um, such functions as fan speed to start and you now notice that the master clutch indicator is white. Then I can touch it to turn it green indicating we are applying product if we're moving. 